There's a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation about drones. Let's talk about the 10 biggest misconceptions about them. So I heard that you can make a lot of money by flying drones, is that true? Not immediately, at least. And over time, just like with any business, yes, you can make a lot of money. And yes, it is going to take some time to get there. Don't expect or believe people that say that you'll be making $100,000 a year your first year or $150, $200 an hour when you first start getting uh, into the drone business. Now, remember that a drone is just a tool to capture data. You still have to build everything else around that business. And uh, good luck with that. I didn't even know you could get licensed to fly drones. There are rules to fly your drone. As a matter of fact, there are two different types of rules. The main one is called part 107. And under part 107, you're gonna be flying your drone for really any purposes. If you wanna fly it for business, if you wanna fly it for even for pleasure, you can also do that under part 107. But there's also a little exemption to part 107 rules that is called the recreational exemption. And the recreational exemption allows you to fly your drone, well, for recreational purposes, for fun. If the only thing that you do is fly your drone for fun, then you can fly under those rules. I'm gonna put a bunch of links down in the description so you can find more information about how to fly your drone under both sets of rules because this is really important to follow. Really like to learn how to fly a drone, but it looks really hard. Yes, FPV drones can actually be pretty challenging to fly at first, as can the fixed wing aircraft also be pretty challenging, but most drones that you will find at the store, such as Best Buy, are actually pretty easy to fly. A GPS drone can hover by themselves at any time, so if you let go of the controls, then the drone is gonna stay there and be nice and safe. Obstacle avoidance also is going to help you prevent any kinds of crashes. Now, get your trust certificate, find an open field away from the airports or any helicopter pads, check the airspace and then keep away from people and go at it. You'll have a lot of fun. What's the deal with all these drones? They're just cheap toys, right? Yes, of course, some of the drones out there are pretty cheap, and yes, some of them are toys, but if you start looking at enterprise-level drones, some of them can cost as much as a small airplane. They can carry payloads that cost sixty dollars to $100,000 that can actually capture data that other aircraft can't. Thermal drones, for example, can be used to inspect bridges. They inspect roofs, they inspect power lines, they keep communities safe out there. Even smaller drones are extremely valuable and sophisticated. Some can be used by public safety agencies, such as firefighters, trying to save people from burning inside of buildings. Since drones and airplanes are the same, they can fly as high as they want. Drone altitudes are actually pretty tightly restricted, especially when it comes to flying near airports. Maps exist to show you the allowable altitude at which you can fly. But anywhere else outside of airports, drones can fly up to 400 feet above the ground. Why? It's mostly because drones actually share the airspace with other aircraft. So don't be that guy or that girl that flies the drone up to 5,000 feet above the ground and then gets in trouble flying around other manned aircraft. Well, I can't fly drones because I live by an airport and it messes with like, the radar. You can actually fly within five miles of an airport. This is an old rule and something that has stuck around in this community, but the five mile rule is dead and gone. You do, on the other hand, need permission if you're flying near an airport, near most airports, which can be done using an app such as Aloft or Before You Fly. Be sure to pay attention to the air traffic and stay away from them even if you get approval to fly at those airports. Drones, they can fly for hours, right? The reality is most drones out there can fly for 20 to 30 minutes, 40 to 50 at most at the moment with the current technology that we have. Some are more specialized, like fixed wing drone can fly for a few hours, but you're more than likely not going to see those in your neighborhood flying around. And yes, military drones are different. They're gonna be powered by a completely different type of engine, but most drones that are powered by electricity and a battery are not gonna stay up in the air for that long. I've seen drones fly miles and miles away. How does that work? 
This is always a tough question. Yes, legally, visual line of sight is the limit for most drones. You have to fly the drone only to the distance where you can see it with the naked eye. Most toy drones are going to be flying only a few hundred feet before they lose signal. Some more expensive drones can fly a few miles away at most, all depending on the signal interference and then the terrain that's available around the pilot. My neighbor just got a drone and I'm so glad that he can't fly over my house because I own my property. One of the biggest misconceptions is the fact that property owners own the airspace above their house, and that is not correct. Airspace is public and controlled by the FAA. Drones are absolutely okay to fly over your house, and I know this may not be the answer that you're looking for, but with that, there's a, bit, a few caveats. While you don't have the expectation of privacy when you're outside, and yes, even inside of your own backyard with the fences up, there is no expectation of privacy, you do have expectation of privacy in inside of your house. So if you think that somebody is actually recording footage inside your house, make sure that you call 911 because that is illegal. And no, you can't shoot drones down. That is prohibited under the US code, 18 US code 32. Uh, the same laws that actually protect passenger airplanes. So don't be that person that goes shooting at a drone and ends up on the FBI uh, list and then gets arrested and gets in trouble. I don't like all these drones flying around. It really seems like they're spying on me. And probably the number one misconception that we hear from people all the time is that drones are spying on me or spying on somebody else. And drones have that insane camera and they can see inside of my house. And no, drones cannot see inside of a house. They can't see through walls. They can barely see through windows, quite frankly. In reality, when the drone is several hundred feet away from you, it's gonna be very hard to tell any details on the controller or on the image that's being taken. You would have to be within a couple dozen dozen feet away from a person in order to get a detailed shot. Now, if you see a drone flying around your property, more than likely it's going to be somebody doing commercial work for real estate, possibly doing a power line inspection or even doing mapping. Trust me, most people don't have a need to go and spy on other people and see what's going on in their backyard. So rest easy on that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other misconceptions about drones, please leave them down in the comments and we'll be happy to uh, help you understand how drones fly and how drones work. This is what we do every single day here at Pilot Institute. So that's it, that's all I have. We'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.